So yeah, I decided to start, start trying. Whoa, dude. What did you just say? I decided to start trend? I need to turn it up, dude. So yeah, I decided to start, start trying. Mother What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreneast.com. Today we are going to be reacting to how I got into steroids at 14. Yes, you heard that. You heard that correctly. How I got into steroids at 14 years old. Hashtag strong, hashtag do the hard stuff, hashtag powerlifter. So this is a YouTuber by the username of Big SM. And he is probably the youngest guy I have seen post on YouTube about his hormone use. I remember back in the day there was uh, that uh, big natty daddy. It was like a Boston Lloyd wannabe or something. And he was on gear at like 15 or something. And I'm pretty sure he had like a news article done about him because it was such a baffling thing at the time. And nowadays we have people going even younger than that. 14 fucking years old. So I'm just... <laughs> I'll let him talk and I'll give my reaction to the video. What's up guys? Thank you for clicking on my video. And as you read in the title, this video is gonna be about how I personally got into steroids at the age of 14. Now to you guys, this might seem a bit crazy and I can't help hold you guys on that, it is crazy. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Boom, let's get. All right, I'm gonna start off from. Like he just like cut, <laughs> he like cut himself off on his edit. Scratch, so. Basically, I was about 12 years old, 12 to 13, mid 12 years old. And um, I really got into the gym. I started liking it. I started liking the vibe in there. It really fit my personality, my mentality, all right? So I used to go about, um, I never took breaks. I would just go every day, no breaks, um, eat about four to five meals a day, you know, just regular working out. But um, the gym I used to go to, there was all, like many people that were big and like, they were like super big. I would be like, whoa, I don't even think these guys are natural. And um, I personally wanted to take it to the next level with them. So it all started from here. Dude, but take it to the next level. Like you haven't even done the first level. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure this guy knows what newbie gains are. Like how could you be this oblivious to the fact of you have a foundation to build and you're not yet at the point to take it to the next level. This is one of the main reasons why I tell guys to wait is not even because of an arbitrary age that you need to be, but in addition to that, the actual like mental ability to grasp what you are doing and understand how these drugs work because it's a long, it's not a quick learning curve for this shit. You have to actually learn how the body works and what the body is capable of naturally versus enhanced before you delve into this realm and start prematurely abusing your body and potentially stunting certain growth processes when you're fucking 14. Basically, I had the nerves to go and ask one of them. I was like, yo, like, what are you taking? How do you get this size? How do you maintain it? Um, what do you eat? What supplements? Do you take anything? And uh, he told me, if you're serious about this, um, uh, meet me up at this location and time. And he started explaining to me, like, the basis of steroids, what it takes and everything. So, yeah, I I, like, I asked him, like, what do you take? He's like, oh, I take SARMs, I take TREN. It depends on how my body's feeling. <laughs> the, you would just wake up one day and you're like, I'm going to take SARMs. You know what? It feels like a TREN day. I'm going to take fucking TREN. So yeah, I decided to start, start trying. Whoa, dude. What did you just fucking say? I decided to start trend? I need to turn it up, dude. So yeah, I decided to start, start trying. Motherfucker. Dude. Started fucking trend baloney at 14. Yo, it might seem crazy to you guys, and it is. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Crazy, you know. It's very crazy to start. Dude. You hit me with the bicep flex after telling me you started fucking Trenbolone at 14. Like, the nerve of this fucking kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I heard this at 14, but just trying to take it to the next level, you know? No, I don't. Like, I don't. And a lot of people might hate on this, and I can't blame them, you know? It's not their lifestyle. This is my lifestyle. This is how I want to be. Dude, Tren is nobody's lifestyle. Even... The top guys I know have all gotten to a point where they realize that trend is overhyped and something you don't want to be using to build your foundation. This isn't a drug you would use to 
have a polishing finishing touch on stage. This is not something you need to use in an off season. This is not something that is necessary or even optimal for muscle growth in my opinion. Something that's driving like heavy adrenergic signaling and making you constantly essentially in a perpetual state of sympathetic drive and stressed out, you're actually gonna grow worse than you would with other compounds in an off season. And this is besides the fact that you're fucking 14, dude. And uh, I can't blame you guys if you guys wanna hate, you know. Go ahead, go for it. But yeah, so basically I asked him, what do you take? He said, I take this, I take this. If you're serious, you can buy it from me. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm serious. You know, I'm trying to take this to the next level. So he's like, all right. He showed me a pack of like SARMs and Trend and everything he takes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take this. Uh, is there any side effects? He's like, yeah, of course you're going to have side effects. You know, you're taking something that you shouldn't be taking. I'm like, all right. So I bought it from him. And then that week I started on the cycle. I, I kept asking him, like, what do you take the cycle? How's the cycle? What do you do? And yeah, I just got my information from him. And yeah, I started going, getting on a cycle. And now it's just, now it's just a habit, you know? Okay, so while he's flexing on me, let me explain why you would never do a trend only cycle. Trend does not convert in any significant amount to estradiol. It inherently seems to be able to activate estrogen receptors, but it's not going to be able to produce enough estrogenic activity to function as a base androgen that's going to provide the same neuro neuroprotection, cardio protection, et cetera, that a testosterone would or something derived from testosterone that converts to a sufficient amount of estradiol like d or you know, HCG or, you know, whatever the fuck you want to use for your test base. Trend blown on itself, on its own, is not going to do any of that. It's going to be, besides its inherent neurotoxicity, nephrotoxicity, cardiotoxicity, etc. with no estrogen, it's like not only inhibiting progress, because you're going to grow shittier, but significantly hindering your health to an even greater extent than trend blown already does. And then above and beyond that, you're fucking 14, you know? Like, this is insane, dude. So, no one's hating on anything. This is just... A poor choice of a cycle and fucking absurd for your age. A lot of you guys might hate. I can't blame you guys, you know. But um, yeah, this is it right here. It's what SARMS does at 14. SARMS or Trent? Like, what are you fucking on, dude? You know? Yeah. So anyways, that's basically the story. I, I went to the gym. I started mid-12. Um, yeah, I saw really big people. I asked one of them, you know, what do you take? How do you achieve this body? He's like, you, you can't achieve this naturally. You gotta enhance, take it to the next level. And then I went for it and I did it. Hell yeah. Subscribe, drop a like. Bro, <laughs> fuck dude. I like don't even know how to respond. So I think this is why having high quality information is more important than ever because it seems like I actually thought when I was getting into YouTube that I hated how when I was, you know, 18, 19, 20, when I was first like digging into the research of this shit, there was not high quality information out there. And, you know, there was the forums we'd rely on and there was just, you know, people like the dude at his fucking gym who we'd rely on for information. And we'd end up coming out with a lot of uh, bad practices, obviously. And to the defense of the forum dudes, a lot of those guys are high, more highly educated now. And in 10 years, the information they have then is probably going to make, you know, current them look, you know, dumb. As well as it's the same reason why I make, you know, my content years ago look dumb too. Everyone's learning constantly. So it's not necessarily at fault of the forum guys because a lot of those guys stay up to date on whatever is available and the clinical literature unfortunately a lot of them do still stick with the bro lore you know myths that we've all been taught you know fucking 10 years ago but it's like at least now there seem to be emerging reputable sources of information that seem to have more widespread credibility that you can actually see reinforced through the uh i don't know testimonials reviews you know people who have uh you know, left, uh, I don't know, comments on their channels and whatnot, or on their, on their Instagram pages or whatever it is, produced high quality athletes, like whatever it is, there's a lot of, uh, you know, higher quality education being put out and it's more highly accessible because it's not like you have to hire a certain guy who knows a secret in order to learn something nowadays. Now it's just free information around the internet which is very fortunate. And you also have access to a lot of academic literature that otherwise would have been impossible to get to. So you can always educate yourself, even if you don't know who to trust in like the space of, you know, there's so many gurus and coaches and blah, blah, blah. It's like, how do you know who's legit and who's, you know, full of shit? <laughs> 
Um, if you have no way to discern between and it's overwhelming for you, like go learn for yourself, you know, dig into some of the academic literature, go read some of the original, you know, steroid profiles and learn this stuff by yourself, the pharmacokinetics, the pharmacodynamics, etc. And you can start to develop a working understanding of how everything works before you start practical application, which is what most people should be doing. Unlike, you know, haphazardly jumping on shit. Like even this approach to cycling would be horrible even if you were in your mid twenties. So anyways, I'm going to look at some of his other videos and see if he gets more uh, detailed because he does have a few, uh, some other videos that go into Q and A's as well as his transformation. We can, uh, and I can provide uh, some more commentary. There's your story that you guys all been asking for. If you want to leave a like, leave a like. If you want to dislike, go ahead. I'm up for the hate, you know? I don't care about you guys. Jeez. Keep having to turn down this guy's intro because it's so fucking loud. Jesus. What's up, guys? Big SM here. And today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you guys because you guys have been asking me many questions, whether it's about the gym, whether it's about the diet, and my weight. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into the questions and we're gonna answer all of them. Okay, so the first question we have is, how much do I bench? Now you see, I'm trying to get my bench up because it's not really my main priority, my main target, but I'm really working on getting it up. Right now, my bench is about 185 for one, or I can go drop it down to 175 and give it three or two reps. I okay, so is that a number that would be otherwise achievable naturally? Yeah, obviously, you know, the, should you have jumped on fucking trembolone sandwich and SARMs in order to hit a 175 bench? Probably not, you know, I don't think uh, you needed anything until you finish puberty, at least. That would be the ideal minimum. Again, bench is my main thing. It's my main thing is using the dumbbell pressing. That's what I find to be the highest. Okay guys, so the next question we have is how much do I weigh? We're talking pounds here, not kg. Right now, if I go check, I'm probably about 139.5 pounds. And uh, a couple months back, like four to three months back, I, I was like 148, 147. But it definitely did drop down because the gym is closed, you know, I'm not trained. You know, the one thing you can give this kid props on at least is that he's transparent enough that he knows everyone's going to absolutely light him up to the point where maybe he'll actually get some good constructive criticism that he can then apply because this is like, he otherwise has no good resource of information apparently. So maybe this will be a way for him to get convinced that what he's doing is fucking stupid. So, you know, like he's not lying. He's not saying he's using nothing and cranking his face off like some people in the fitness industry do. And he's saying how much he weighs and he's shit and he's just being transparent about how, you know, weak or strong he is, however you want to <laughs> interpret that. You have to consider he's fucking 14 too. But yeah, obviously what he's doing is ridiculous. We all can agree on that. But he's actually putting out there what he's doing and is, I don't know how open to feedback he is. It doesn't sound like he is at all. But hopefully he ends up seeing the shit and hopefully the sheer amount of people lighting him up will convince him that the guy at his gym was not having his best interest at heart. And that's even in long-term progress potential. Like these years that you're blasting at fucking 14 and putting stress on your organs for suboptimal progress when you are like not even fully developed yet, dude, that's years in the future you could be cranking and actually making adequate progress because you actually know how to diet, how to train, how to blah, blah, blah. And you're actually full grown and have the ability to maximize on these different vectors. And you actually understand how to properly integrate the pharmacology without just abusing your body for suboptimal progress on a frame that is not even fully developed yet. Like these are years of abuse that are going to take off years off the front end up here. Like once you actually get older, these are years being taken off that otherwise could have been productive years of building more muscle than you are now because you did not want to have some patience, like zero patience, like to the point where you are like just in the gym, you just walked in you're already like, how do I fucking get huge? I'm not getting a lot of muscle. Yeah, what? I'm still, I'm still a decent amount of weight right now. I'm 139.5. Okay, next question. Um like, I know it sucks when you're like 14 and you have to see all these fitness models who are full grown adults and have like full skeletal structure developed and shit. And you know that you're years away from it and you want to expedite it and you want to get on something that gets you there faster. But it's like, you need to just understand that the process of becoming a fucking adult 
is not overnight. Like you have to have patience to at least get through this period to became, become a fully formed human <laughs> before you start abusing this shit. Like it, as much as it sucks to be exposed to social media where you can see all this shit now and the pressures are higher than ever, I guess, because of the exposure to all this stuff at such a young age, you gotta just fucking bite the bullet and like let your body develop properly. Like your brain is not even fully developed until you're in your 20s and here you are fucking inhibiting neurological processes because you want to take fucking Trenbolone and SARMs at 14 years old and then maybe you'll never even become intelligent enough to use this shit properly because you fucked with your brain and a bunch of your other organs when you were 14 years old. Um, this is a question that gets asked a lot, whether it's on my YouTube comments, my DMs, basically anywhere I get this question asked a lot. Okay, so the question is how tall am I? I a lot of people ask me this, okay? And I'm gonna answer it for you guys right here, right now. I'm five foot seven and a half, all right? I don't plan on getting, I don't wanna, I'd rather be tall than be uh, short, because working out, you don't want to be very short because it just doesn't match your physique and like you won't look big and stuff. So, yeah, five foot seven and a half. There's your answer. So he's five foot seven and a half and wants to get taller. He would like being taller and he'd prefer it over being shorter. This is another big reason why you probably don't want to be on what you're using right now. You're crushing your hormones into the ground. You are probably going to deploy some sort of post psychotherapy practice at the advisement of your gym buddy. After this cycle, if you can even call it that at this point, is done, you are <laughs> pushing processes that are going to either inhibit proper maturation or, and this includes in like brain, fucking dick, a lot of shit you don't wanna fuck with. And in addition to that, once you actually go on PCT, you might agonize and actually expedite the epiphyseal plate closure where you can then permanently inhibit your height potential because you had to use a post cycle therapy for a poorly thought out cycle that you did in your fucking teen years. <laughs> so dude, just like there's a lot of shit I feel like you were severely overlooking. I highly recommend you go watch my 15 year old on SARMs on TikTok video. I don't remember what it's called exactly. I'll put a card up in the corner, 15 year olds on TikTok on SARMs. Watch that and I basically rant like a motherfucker on why you should not be using these compounds at your age. Like at least for the love of fuck, wait until you're fully grown and study in the meantime. No one cares if you're skinny at 14, dude. None of the shit you're doing right now is going to matter to you once you're out of high school, trust me. Like get your shit in order and learn how this stuff works before you use it before it's too late and you do some permanent damage because it's even one thing for an adult to do a fucked up cycle, but for a guy literally needing his body at like peak functionality to go through maturation processes properly, you're at the most vulnerable position for fucking things up potentially. So as much as how tempting it is, dude, really think about your decisions here because I promise you the amount of gains you're getting now are going to be subpar as fuck compared to what you could do in your 20s when you actually understand this stuff thoroughly and you actually have the infrastructure physiologically to support maximal muscle accrual with these compounds in your system relative to now when you're a five foot seven and a half 139 pound kid who hasn't even made his newbie gains yet as a natural okay guys another question that i get asked and millions millions of times is what do i take to achieve this all right to answer this um, I don't really want to give you guys an answer to that because I don't feel the need to explain that. I don't feel like you guys have to, have to know that. Didn't you just say Tren and SARMs in the last video? But I, I would rather tell you guys I'm not natural and that's what you guys need to know. Oh, I guess this is, uh, this is a video before that. Oh yeah, okay. So this was uh, this video was uh, a week before the one where he said he did Tren and SARMs. So anyway, let's see this guy's transformation and then uh, we'll cap it off here. So this is him at 13 years old, apparently. Seems weird with no background music. I'm just watching a blank, it's just a blank screen. So a normal, natural looking kid. And now here he is. And he obviously, you know, is quite, uh, Happy with his progress, you know, the guy is uh, basically hitting a fucking uh, gunshot like every two seconds in his videos. But dude, 
Could you have made this progress naturally? Yeah, might it have taken you another six, 12 months or so? Yeah, but it's like, you're fucking ruining your body right now for absolutely no reason, dude. Trust me. I'm not even just saying this to be like, oh, you know, like the, I don't know, responsible fucking adult who's like, oh, you gotta, you shouldn't take drugs, blah, blah, blah. Like you are actually capable of building this physique naturally. You don't need to take drugs to look like this. You don't need to take drugs to bench 175, dude. Like stop the shit, recover natural function, learn how this stuff works for the next two to three years at least. And then once you're deeper into your teen, teen years, at least like ideally you would wait till your twenties. But if you're dead silent on this, no matter what, learn for the next handful of years ideally. <laughs> Cause that's actually how long it can take you, especially when you're 14 and it's hard to grasp and wrap your mind around something that's brand new. I literally have been studying since I was like 17 years old. And even as of recent, I'm still learning. Like I'm still fucking learning. Years later, like it's such a fucking complex topic with so much intricacies and when it comes to not only the cycle planning and ciliaries to use on cycle to keep you safe, you know, lab work, diagnostics, how to actually interpret this stuff. Um, Cause it's not like doctors are going to teach you how to do it. It's not like most people understand this stuff, to be honest, most coaches or well, not most coaches, but most random guys at the gym selling the shit will tell you stuff like this. Here's fucking SARMs and trend. You need to learn this stuff for yourself and actually have an in-depth understanding before you expose yourself to the drugs because not just for being the responsible adult, but you're actually only going to be able to expose yourself to these drugs a certain amount of times before you're going to have to pull the plug and you will not be able to use these kind of drugs anymore without significantly hindering your health to a point that it actually takes you out of bodybuilding. So you want to use those cycles very intelligently and plan them out well and be able to maximize the efficacy of them when you do deploy them. You don't want to be wasting your fucking organ durability when you're in your teens blasting shit that's getting you one tenth of the results you could get in your 20s when you actually understand this stuff and your body is fully matured. So that is the end of my rant. And I hope you take it to heart, kid, because this is too much, dude. Like this is fucking next level shit. And um, watch some of my playlists. I have a PEDs playlist. The 15 year old SARMS one was a good one in my opinion. I recommend you watch that. And you are not getting good advice from whoever it is that is advising you. So I highly recommend reconsidering your decision and thinking a lot about some of the shit that might happen. You know, you, you even saying, oh, I wanna be tall. It's like, well, what's your fucking priorities, dude? Like this isn't even just about health. It's about like actual, just basic fucking physiological processes and actually maturing to full, like getting actual proper growth done of actual bones and shit. Like this is beyond just, oh, you're young and using gear. Like, rah, rah, rah. so think about it, dude. That's the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplace underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitsu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas, that Design Myself from Scratch, my TRT Clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home and my recommended lab test panels that you can run through the HRT Clinic for diagnostics and anything else I'm associated with. It's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.